Okay, so yeah, this is the eighth episode of the Hunter Podcast. Uh, it's gonna be available on all streaming platforms. And today's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna introduce the ladies first. We got Angela, and uh, this is my buddy Chill's wife. Uh, yeah, wife, or yeah. you guys are married, right? Yeah, it's my wife, man. We've oh, been married for about what two years now? Three. Three. Oh I'm shit! Chat. I'm losing He's, in trouble. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's in trouble. I'm losing chat. Three. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, three. My math is bad. I wasn't ever my math student, not good, so. <laughs> yeah, you're a good football player, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. and so then my me. wife, Christine. So, so yeah, I had to introduce the ladies first. So, since it's Mother's Day, what's both of your favorite parts of like being a mother? What's your since you became a mother? What was your favorite part? You became a mom first. <laughs> One of you. My favorite part is watching him. He's just like his dad, and I just hope every day that he's not. So hopefully, better traits. But no, like, it's just really cool to see him turning into his own person. That's yeah. Good idea. I think the best thing about being a mom is like learning from them how. Um, I don't know they're just so resilient to everything that you do like you can yell at them and then in the very next second they're like mommy I love you so much and I'm like oh my gosh I feel like I could learn a thing or two from you like right, right, right. and I don't know just watching them grow every day is just pretty amazing but yeah, yeah. being a mom's okay, pretty cool okay. yeah. yeah I mean for being a father man I, we all know it's a lot of work I mean you know I was a kid at I had a kid at 20 so I mean same age, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, that's a, that's one of the big reasons why I got into network marketing, so I could spend a lot more time with my family. Yeah. So, you know, the goal is to try to make at least ten to twenty k a month, so you can, you know, freedom. Because it's not about the money; it's more just the freedom. Exactly, that mm -hmm. you know not I mean? that yeah. paycheck, the paycheck feeling. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I, I work jobs and stuff. Like, she was working. I mean, shit, we're downtown. I mean, La Jolla. I mean, you name it. I, I I did it, but at the same time, I was like, this ain't. I mean, I'm not passionate about none of this stuff. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? So. I think the biggest thing is now I found a passion, and she can see the passion, but I mean, she probably doesn't want, like, being with me all the time. I mean, when we're going through the process, I mean, because, I mean, you could go ahead and speak on it a little bit, you know, about being he's with me. <laughs> he's difficult. Yeah. Well, he's a hothead, so, like, it'll oh, go from yeah. zero to 100, even just with basic shooting. It's like, you're not getting the shot. Okay, oh, okay, so shit. I still got the athlete in me, right? So you remember how I was on the final yeah, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to win. Well, you're a star, mm. so yeah, yeah. that's how it was. So oh, for me, it was yeah. like, if I feel like she's not giving 100. It's like one of my teammates. Yeah, you exactly. Give me 100 or I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let, let you know. know. So, I've never yeah. been yelled at. Like, my parents didn't yell at me. No <laughs> one's ever yelled at me, and then I'm like, like, okay, <laughs> like, this is a little much. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, but I don't how know, that's kind of that's an issue yeah. with all relationships, though. I don't know, especially when you guys are together for a long time, mm -hmm. yeah, and you have yeah. a kid together, like, you have those issues, and then when you're working business together, it's like you guys are together 24 7, yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, figure that out, you got to try to make it into something not like that, not business like, just make it make it more enjoyable, fun. you know. That's what we're trying to figure out right yeah. now, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, like in yeah. the middle of that shit, dude. We're together since high school, so well, yeah, 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 we're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. high school sweethearts. We're trying sure. to figure it out, because yeah. yeah. sophomore year, right? Yeah, well, freshman year, my freshman, freshman year, year, and then it was you were junior, junior, junior. Yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. You guys been, and you guys been rocking for yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be yeah. nine so. years on the 29th of yeah. this month. You guys got to keep that, keep that bond, it's hard to find those. Especially with kids, dude. Like, even right here, this podcast, like, I I don't even think I talked to her for an hour straight ever, really. Yeah. Like, because we had kids and shit, and we're, like, going back, and she's working, I'm working, I'm trying to do this. Like, it's just back and forth all the time. Definitely yeah, not you know? uninterrupted, either. Like, yeah, it's all, we're all exactly. constantly being interrupted by the kids, and so we don't have, like, just a straight conversation ever, I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since I, having how is it? How is it being on the move all the time, especially since you're, like, you know, you're, like, a... I mean, I, th I, th I like it personally. Yeah. I actually was, I actually was, my, before I started getting into the influencer marketing deep, I was actually applying to be a flight attendant for like, what, a year? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so what happened was I missed the test by two points. I was actually in Las Vegas, and I was on a, what was I flying for? Allegiant, Allegiant Travel, actually, to be exact. And I was out there for about three weeks. So I had two weeks to go. I missed the test, and I was like, fuck, what am I going to do now? You know, yeah. I'm like, damn, like, I don't have a job. I don't have any money coming in. I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I I was applying to every job. So I started working at La Jolla, and literally I would wake up at five in the morning every day, every day, every day, and I would literally create content. I would go to work at five in the morning, 
I get off, go to the gym, and I would create content. And I'd be up. She'd be like, babe, what are you doing? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Get off of the computer. I'm like, no, babe, I got to get this blog done. She literally woke up in the morning, and she was like, she looked at the blog, and she was like, you did all of this last night? I was like, yeah. But it's an every day. It's, a, it's I mean, Exactly. You got to yeah. just keep working on it. I, can't, I mean, I can't even believe what it turned into now. You know, like. Just maybe a few months ago, I went to New York City. I never would. I come from a rough background, you know. I have no father, you know what I mean. People don't know that about me. Uh, my stepdad wasn't all that cool with me, you know what I mean. It was, I come from a rough background, so for me doing this now, I know a lot of people are probably even shocked. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a shitty student. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I well, if, if, if you knew the chill yeah. in high That's school, for now yeah, I knew you in high school. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. What? So going I, on? Yeah, so I know I know it's a shock, but I mean honestly, when you put your because our mind works in like like thoughts. So I said, so what do I see? My you know, so okay, let's break it down. So I was hanging out with you know a group of guys. I don't really want to start naming names. Yeah, I was hanging out with a, with a group of guys. You know, we were doing this every day, and uh, we were getting into a lot of trouble, man. We were doing a lot of you stuff. You weren't doing the shit you yeah. Wanted. You so should have been doing. I met her when I was what twenty one, twenty nineteen. Nineteen. And then you had, you had a kid at 20, dude. Oh, right? well, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> hey, man. It's I'm all like, I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm like yeah. Uh, that's good, though. It's at least so you're not getting back to nothing. At least yeah. numbers are all gone. Okay. That's yeah, good. yeah. So it's it, not just your guys' wedding. Or nah. This is everything. It's, okay. yeah, it's a blur <laughs> because I'm literally grinding 24 7. Like, 20, like, okay. So this is my first podcast. It's my first podcast now. Yeah. I'm about to do a podcast in San Diego. That's my first. That's a big one. Yeah. There's over like 250K followers, you know. Every monthly, there, there's like they're 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 timing On the website, it. All that yeah, stuff, all yeah. the time. So this is cool. You know, the first one I can do to break the ice. I, you, my boy, I like what you're doing too. You yeah. know, the 100 podcast. I like everything you're doing about it. Obviously, I seen your cheeky creations. I see you're doing your little <laughs> thing too. So that's cool. And I seen Annie up too, man. Like yeah. I like what you guys are doing. So I mean, you know, what do you, what do you have to add to this? You know, to the whole situation. To the travel? Yeah. What do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like <laughs> that it's something that's created from nothing, yeah. and it's just pure passion. For me, I like to take photos. I like creating, but not on the same. I don't like to be yeah, in the limelight, so it's yeah. really cool for me to be with him and create with him, yeah. which is nice. Let him be the limelight. Yeah. And you that's what I like doing that. in podcasts, that's too, because nice. I like asking people questions, and like i am always been curious. I don't like being the middle of everything. I like finding out about you or finding out about what right, you right, like right. or what Everybody you're into. Or, yeah, exactly. Right, right, um, right, right. Yeah, but... But, like, all right, so from high school, you said you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Yeah. What got you changing? What got you, like, what was the one big thing or what, what day did you wake up and you're like, damn, this is fucking stupid. So I went like, to jail. Uh, really? Yeah, okay. Pretty, yeah, I went to jail, man. That's what people don't know. Yeah, yeah. So it was only a night, but that's all it took. I exactly. got, we got into a yeah. fist fight at the wake beach. We were, we were brawling, something stupid. I went to jail. And then that day, I, I literally called my boys. I said, where you guys at? We're at a party. You guys at a party? I'm in jail. You guys are at a party? Okay, so where's the money on my books? Nobody's helping me? Okay, so I had to call my mom. Literally, hey, you know, I'm in jail. You know, you, you can, can you help me out? Yeah. I think the bell was like, what? $2,500? You know, that she didn't have at the time? It was like 2008, so it was around the crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. you know, literally the guy was calling me, uh, the, the detective. He was like, if you don't pay the rest of the money, we're going to pick you up and take you to jail. Which I didn't know it can be settled in small claims. What is it? Small, small claims? Yeah, 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 small claims court. So, I told him pretty much, no, we're not going to pay you. I got out of it. But ever since that day, I said, okay, I got to change my life. You now, I really have to figure out what I, which, you know, Chill wants to do yeah. with yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. Because now it's getting to the point where we're going to jail. We're doing, we're doing stuff like that. Am I going to do care. this again? Yeah, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't want to go to prison. Like, matter of fact, speaking of jail, Chico. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That was my boy. I ran around with him. Yeah. Same thing. Well, Your boy, too. Your he best lived friend. with me, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as a matter of fact, elaborate on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, about the Chico situation. What well, was your relationship with him? He was, I don't know. He's my he was my best friend, bro. Like, I don't know. We we hung out every day. I took him to school every day. I don't, How did he meet you? Um, From school. From high school. I met him at football, and he, he moved back to Vegas, and we were, like, really cool. And then I asked him if he really wanted to live over there, like, with with his like somewhat aunt or sister or whatever he called her and he said no so I had him I had him move back asked my parents they said it was cool I've I've always been like really like I'd rather give you the shirt off my back I, right. I'm never like I don't I'm not I don't do anything for anything I do it because I like I care about people Your heart, right? and uh, so he 
he came back. He lived with me for a little bit. He lived with me for like a, a year, maybe a year and a half, and then he lived with like Scrubby right down the street right, I remember. for like a year, and I would take him to school. And like it was just kind of like a he was kind of like almost like the community child, really. Like right. everybody took care of him, right. and um, and I don't know, like he went to college with me, and and uh, I kind of hold myself accountable partly just because. He went to college with me, and, and he couldn't pay the rent, so after a couple months, like, I, I couldn't, like, just be like, you're going to stay with me after you can't pay the rent forever, you know, right. so I had to move, move back, and not that I was, like, never cool with him. It was never, like, bad terms. We were always best friends. Like, we always kept in touch, but he started kicking it with the wrong homies or whatever, and... Yeah. One thing led to another. And he yeah. got in trouble, and, and I still hold myself accountable because, like, if I'd have just kept him under my wing, and like I said, like... I do stuff not to get anything back. I should have been that way always for him. And I started feeling like, oh, I need to, I need to get something back for this. I need to, I need to see what I'm doing. Like I need to see it coming back to me. And that's the wrong way to view things. And, uh, and so I don't know. He, he did some. I don't know what happened. I don't know the whole story. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they obviously did some shit. Yeah. And he's in trouble right now. And hopefully we'll see what happens. Hopefully he gets out at some point. Yeah. And yeah. we can figure it out. But uh, he got into trouble. I don't really know. The whole situation. The, yeah, yeah. I mean, I kept telling him to, you know, stay away from those guys too. I mean, you know, I they're all trouble, dude. The one yeah, yeah. who just got out of prison, and the other guy was a drug dealer. It's like, yeah, rough guys, rough yeah. guys. Bro. And he's he's crazy. not even twenty one. He's twenty. He was twenty, and they were twenty eight and thirty five. Yeah. And it's what like, are you doing with those guys? What are you kicking yeah. it with them for? You know, and, and and we visited him even after we had our our first kid. After we had TJ and and where he was living at. I was like, Jesus, dude. Like, he was living in, like, just a sketchy spot. But he, yeah. you know, he was doing it on his own. Like, he, he was paying his rent. He was working every day. So, like, I gave him, like, I, I respected him for it. He lived in a bad spot with, like, a lot of a lot of druggies over there. And he, like, he handled it. And yeah, he was yeah. handling it at 19, 20 and doing it by himself. And, and I don't know. So, like, I've kept in touch. And when he went to jail, like, we talked. And okay. I sent him money and all that shit. And yeah. Now he's in prison. I gotta keep talking to him, but I, I haven't been able to talk to him in a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he got over there. I gotta give him a call, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. one of the biggest things. I mean, I, I think he was just looking for acceptance, like me. You know, I exactly. Wanted, I wanted, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to run around with. It. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, you're good. Keep okay, talking, keep talking. yeah, I wanted to run around with a gang and everything. You know, when I was growing up too. So I mean, I get it. I grew up in San Diego, Southeast San Diego, and then Chula Vista, Oceanside. But there's a lot of gang activity in San Diego. Period. Yeah. So. Me not having a father and not really knowing who I am, you know, you start to kind of cling to that stuff. Yeah. You, know, you want to hang out with the neighborhood gangs. You want to do that. But what had happened was this guy by the name of Stephen Andre Cleveland, he was on my Letterman's jacket. He was on my hat. He got shot right in front of my sister through some Lincoln Park gloves. You can look up the case right now. Uh, even talking about it, it, it makes me, you know, feel some type of way. Yeah, um, yeah. Good dude, man. He got shot right in front of my sister. So ever since then... I knew that I didn't want to run around with gangs, but I still wanted to be kind of around that ratchet side. And then every, when I went to jail, that's when it was the nail in the coffin. I said, okay, this ain't what I want to do. Yeah, I'm not. You know, so the biggest thing now is really um, staying on track and really being an example for my son, man. I, I get a father is a strong voice in the house, man. Like, if you don't yeah. have a father, the woman can't teach a man how to be a man. Yeah. They're yeah, not exactly. men. They don't know right. what we feel like. They don't know what we go through. They don't know how we feel. So the biggest thing for me, man, is being an example. Because people probably like, oh, man, shut up a white boy. He changed. Oh, well, I didn't think that. You're not you a, know? You're a grown-up. Yeah, <laughs> you know? You're a grown-up. Yeah, you're yeah. taking you care of your kid. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So because I used to be out there, man, you know, all types of stuff. I used to be doing all types of things. I mean, if you know me, you know. You both know. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was a rebel, man. But I can say the best thing I did was get get into influencer marketing because that makes me be a better person every day, not just going to nine to five and being good from nine to five. But every day I have to be a better person because yeah. I'm because I'm keep literally working on it. Yeah, I literally have. I, there's no end to it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you have like to keep I, building and building, right, and building right. And building see, and building. nine to five, I could show my face. You know, I could show a smile at you for eight hours. But I'm saying. But to be a good person every day, that's a challenge. Yeah. To yeah. work out every day. I've been working out for, what, six years straight? Mm -hmm. I've been working on the business for six years, right? Mm -hmm. Six years now. And I'm just now starting to see the fruits from it. So when I tell people, ask me, oh, I want to be a lifestyle blogger. Why do you want to be a lifestyle blogger? What do you want to do? Why? Is it because you want fame? Is it, what do you, what do you want out of it? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah your what? underlying reason has to be worth it. And right. it has to... You have to see the long term in it, not just 
the right now. Right, right, the right. Fame. I want it right now. I want to be known on Instagram. I right, want to be right. this or I want to be that. Right, 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 right. And that's the biggest thing, man. What, what, what do they not see? What is what's in the background that you know they see like the photos? They look all, all beautiful right, and right. perfect and and all that. But what the what do they not see? Shoots. What's all the work, dude? Okay, yeah, so yeah. what you didn't see is me and my like wife. that. Yeah. So what you didn't see is me and, and my wife arguing all the way up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You didn't see that part. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't see me and her going at it every day or every other day or whenever we go at it. You guys don't see the real. You know what I mean? The yeah, real yeah, grind yeah. behind it. I'm literally online. I'm re- like, I just tried to close a, a di- what with Hedge. Mm-hmm. A company in Canada. You know what? I'm always reaching out to brands. I'm always... But see, I'm not just trying to have an online presence. I want to meet these people face to face. I'm not really big on social media. I grew up in an era where, you know, phones weren't big. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We were, what? We had flip phones, Nokias. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like... The, the social media thing was kind of weird to me. It was like, I don't need your like. What is that? But I seen that you can make, you know, a really substantial, con- you, you know, you can, substantial, sorry, wrong word. You can make a real big income, you know, online. Same, same thing. Yeah, yeah same thing. But you, you can, I'm telling you, man, you can make like 10 to 20. I mean, I'm seeing these guys doing it. So it's like, okay, how can I get, you know, my hands there. in there? Yeah. You know, because I don't want to be hand to mouth every day. I want to travel. I want to go to places like Hawaii, exactly. Ireland, exactly. places like that. A company just reached out to me. They want to fly me to UK if I get in. You see what I'm saying? Is it with the circle? Mm-hmm. A company reached out to me. You know, they want to fly me to UK. That's amazing to me. I don't know yeah, nothing that's about awesome. that. Yeah, I come from nothing. You know what I mean? People probably think like, oh, you're the most confident guy. I've had people put labels on me. You're dumb, blah. Five years in high school, all this. They don't know that that whole situation, I was almost getting expelled. You know, I had I, I had gotten into an altercation with a teacher, uh, Mr. Holt. I don't know if you guys know him. Mm-hmm. You know him? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I got into an altercation with him. So I was, I was facing expulsion. So I was out of school for like a year. People didn't know that though. They're saying, oh, you were supposed to graduate in 2010, but you don't know. That you don't even know the whole story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, oh, and you're, it, staying cause you're staying because football. You're staying because you want to play football. Right, right, right. And I'm mm-hmm. like, no, because I got expelled and I literally had to sit out a whole what two semesters, a year. So now we double back all the way here. So I know it's amazing. People see like, wow, you know, I didn't see him becoming you know a lifestyle blog. I never would have saw that, but that's the thing. I seen it, and if we can just honestly hone in whatever we see in ourselves and get rid of the labels and the likes and the comments and get away from all that stuff mm-hmm. and literally just try to get the inner peace and the inner confidence. Yeah. I think we can do whatever we I want. Just, you got to just get, get rid of the, the outside voices. Yeah. Just yeah, do yeah, what yeah. you want to do and, and everybody's going to hate on it until it's successful and then they're going to be like, oh, shit, he had it figured out. He knew what he was doing. You're right, like, right, 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 right. I did. Yeah, I had it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going to hate until you do it, you know? And that's how it is. You figure that out. Like, I figured that out with the clothing brand and everything. Like, the people that actually support it are the people you wouldn't even think, you know? Right, the right, people right, that right. aren't even your closest friends. Yeah, the yeah, people yeah. that you think are just acquaintances or whatever. Those are people that are like, yeah, bro, I'll, I'll buy your shirt. Yeah, yeah. And you got friends that are like, hey, bro, can you hook me up, dog? Yeah, you, hook me yeah. up? Like, you know, that's not really supporting. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, making yeah. me lose yeah. money and it's making it into a hobby, <laughs> not even a, a business. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Everybody right, right. wants everything. Given to them, so I just think them. once you just focus and you just you believe the inside voice, you believe in yourself, and you know it, and, it can go somewhere. Yeah, now, this is obviously I haven't even promoted it yet. So we're right. doing this episode, and I've already done seven episodes before you, right? right, right and right, I haven't right. even promoted one yet. So right, I'm just right. doing it, and I have no idea how it's gonna work out. Yeah, and yeah if it yeah. works out good, great. If it doesn't, well, yeah, I tried, right? Right? right but right. I think it's gonna work out good. I, I have high hopes for it. And I think that if you, if it, even if it doesn't succeed the first time, you're enjoying it, so continue. To yeah, do exactly. It. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm having fun, and I'm, I'm going to keep doing them. Yeah, and, yeah. A, you know, I'm a big believer in God, man. I believe in Jesus, you know. I believe yeah. that he died for my sins. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for God, me and her wouldn't be together. I probably would be dead somewhere. I mean, the shit I was getting into. You know what I mean? People don't even know me yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, it's on a deeper mean, level. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to get that. Deep yeah. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. blame you. Don't blame yeah, you. yeah. So I, I was, I was, your, you know, I was your average rebel man. I was, I was doing whatever, you know, every teenager probably was doing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I noticed when I had my son, and then I met my wife. Man, I, I needed, I needed change because I mean, we, we separated too. I mean, we went through separations. You know, she left yeah. me. She left me. I bet I was begging for her back, calling her back. Hey, come, you know. Yeah. Let me. I'm trying to work on myself. You know, I, I, I'm new to this. You yeah. know, I, I've never had a girlfriend. I mean, you guys know me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on. This, this is, this is, this is all new to me. That's it. You just gotta better yourself, bro. You just gotta keep. 
bettering yourself always. Yeah, yeah. Every That's single day. It. And what made you guys get into the podcast? Well, me, I don't know. I just, I got into it because I wanted to just, I don't know, hear people's stories and kind of, I'm in the middle of trying to find something that I'm passionate about or that I'm into. And yeah. I don't know what I'm into. I don't know. And I, and I like the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, and sure. and I, I'm curious. I've always been curious about everything, dude. I like to hear about everything. So I thought it'd be kind of like a good mix. I, I like listening to podcasts. So why not just try to start one? Yeah. And yeah start yeah, talking yeah. to people about their life. And, and what I've realized too is, a lot of people our age don't even talk to people that much, number one. And number two, a lot of people our age, like, they're not even listening to podcasts from people our age. Yeah. And they're not even listening to podcasts from people our age that are actually, like, educational or actually, right, like, right, trying right. to build something. They're yeah, just, like, fucking just, around. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing yeah. stupid videos and this and, like, I'm actually, like, trying to build something. something. I'm actually trying to, like, be a better human. Right, and right. And that's kind of why I want to do the podcast, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then your Cheeky Creations, are you still doing that? Yeah, I just started doing it again. I was okay. having like technical difficulties with my machine, Yay. and it was machine, yeah. yeah, and it was just overwhelming. And I just was like, okay, I can't do this. I need to get a new machine, invest in, invest in the business, and then you know try again. And so I finally did that, and I got my machine going. And I just did my niece's birthday party. It was like unicorn themed, so I did like the cake topper and the shirts and the goodie bags. Um, I think that's it and yeah so and the machine's like great i'm like wow why didn't i get by this like a year ago <laughs> i'm like what was i wasting my time on okay, um okay, okay. but yeah so just i've always done crafts like yeah. for parties like our own parties birthday parties my niece and everything and so i was like why not make a business out of it everybody would always ask me to do stuff for them and so and i was just doing it and giving my time and going out and buying the everything else and so spending money on on everything and still making it but not making any money off of it so i finally decided like why wouldn't i do this so i tried and charles like okay well i made you an instagram account huh. now just upload a few things and huh. sure enough right off the bat started getting like people writing yeah. dming me saying like oh i need this i need this can you make this do you know how to do this and i'm like well, yeah, I know how to do that, so sure, I'll do yeah. it for you. And okay. then, like, the pricing was kind of something that I had to learn, too. So you have to, like, research, go on, like, Etsy and things like that, so okay. find out, like, what the pricing is on just everything. And, yeah. She yeah. just did her fictitious yeah. business name. Yeah. Yeah. What is, what like is the fix, what is Like, that's so you can, like, the business is, like, completely legal, like, all your expenses and all that's, okay. like, on the books, basically. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, so, like, like we'll claim everything. Yeah, like, taxes. like if you're driving your car and you gotta go to a business meeting, like, oh, you can okay. claim the mileage, or, like, if okay. you, like, you buy that cricket that she just bought, that machine. I can write you can that off. You can write it off. Oh, okay, yeah. just pretty much you just write off all your write-offs. Yeah, exactly. Like, my laptop, okay. I'm gonna write that off for my drone, my Robert Strong Media, because it's, like, I use it for my, to edit all my drone videos and Okay. Ph photography and all that yeah so okay. like if you guys got your fictitious business license in like anything i don't know exactly like what the title would be that you mm. would get it for but yeah, it's yeah. just i think it's just a business name for and then you get it and then you can write everything off so traveling like every time that you travel oh, okay. you can write yeah, off yeah, your yeah. gas you your camera, mileage. i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah she was breaking it down i think my mother yeah. was breaking yeah. it down there so. okay. and then i know you're doing bartending, right? Yeah, so did you have to, travel bartending. Did you have to get, like, a license or, like, something for that? No. Well, I'm really close with, like, um, family-owned businesses in oh, San Diego, okay, so okay. I'm, I don't know. They pay me. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I see it, man. Hey, okay, that works, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what got you into bartending? Um, well, I started working at Starbucks. That was my first job okay. ever. So I just knew I had a love for, like, talking to people, working with people, and then um, someone had offered a bartending job to me, and I, once I started bartending, I just fell in love, like, with creating drinks and new menus and all that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I just went from there. Um, currently, I'm working, I just like working with people. I think it's more the people and the talking and the conversation. I'm just good at making drinks. <laughs> That's just the like, bonus. Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm currently working with seniors. I work, I'm a resident coordinator, so I plan all their events, parties, and stuff oh, like that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah, so, like, with them, it's, like, just fun, just learning and creating with them too yeah so, so you're very personable sociable yeah. so I feel you, like I'm you really just good like connecting. yeah communicating mm -hmm. with people 
Yeah. Nice. Of all ages. I like yeah. kids, too. Mm. You're like, oh. Nice, yeah. Do you got any, you got any future plans from that? You got any future things I have a that lot are... of big ideas. I really want to create, like, um, have you guys ever been to San Diego's, um, Liberty, Liberty Station. Liberty Station? No, I've it's heard like of it. It's like a public market. I've heard of it, but I've not been I want to make a public market in Vegas. Because they don't have anything oh, like yeah. that. They don't have anything local. I like. I grew up in Ocean Beach, so it's okay. very local, hippie. Mm-hmm. Like, Where is Ocean Beach? Um, San Diego. San Diego. Oh, oh it's, it's just like a piece of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Just Everything just is local, um, family owned. Everything is. So they get really mad when like Starbucks comes in or Target comes in. They get pissed off. Yeah. yeah. yeah so That's it's like really cool. cool. I grew up there, so like, I like I'm really big on local and like artists and creative and stuff like that. And in Vegas, everything is, you know, big and yeah. yeah, yeah and so yeah, I really yeah. went for the local residents, like Mago Public Market, had my own personal bar in there with um, craft cocktails, and then rent out the rest of the spaces. Do you have a special cocktail? Um, I have a lot of special yeah, cocktails. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm too good at it. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I really too like many. when I first went to Vegas, I was working at this tiki bar, so I really got big on tiki. So uh, I really like okay. my ties and like jet pilots and stuff like that. Well, my sister likes. I know stuff nothing like that. about drinks. <laughs> yeah, this is the like, same. I just drink oh, it. This is the most I drink right oh, here. Oh, yeah, like mojitos yeah. and like Mai Tais yeah. and stuff like that. She's all about it. I love yeah. it. And yeah. I, love, I make my own syrups, like hibiscus syrups and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Lavender Yummy. syrups. Stuff Yummy. Like that. Yeah, she's all about that. She's all about that. Nice. Yeah, so cool. it sounds like you got a good thing going yeah. with that idea. I like that. Yeah, I mean, see, Vegas is cool. I mean, but I love San Diego. That's my yeah. hometown, man. I mean... <laughs> Do you guys want to settle in Vegas, though? We okay. are. <laughs> you are? Well, you already are. So I feel like we want to go back to San Diego, though. <laughs> look, like, look oh. okay. We live in Henderson. It's a good part of Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because San Diego is our home. You know what I mean? It's just one of those yeah. things. Like, So for, uh, I like Vegas. Don't get me wrong. My son's going to a good school, good baseball team. It's just something about that beach, man. You I just, mean, you guys just see yeah. I'm all about the city, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go <laughs> straight, back. Yeah. Straight up, man. I mean. And are both from San Diego. Yeah, so. born and raised. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. It, was, it was just cool. I mean, it, I mean, but I like La Quinta, too. I mean, La Quinta High School was cool. I don't want to be cool. right here in the desert, bro. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I, I feel you. I, I'm I like getting it. out of here, bro. It's so I hot it. here. Yeah. I don't mind it. Vegas I, is hot, but I like the people and the energy. Yeah. See, I like Yeah, I like La Quinta for football, though. Like, that was fun. Playing with all you yeah, guys, it was bro. Fun, like man. that was a lot of yeah. fun. It was fun, but still, like, I don't even. Fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even though, even though, even though I liked it for the football, I still don't think it was really a tradition. I don't think we like we were that great. I don't think we even like cared that much, honestly. Oh, like, you talking about your squad? Yeah, even like your squad was better. Your squad really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, you're like, like <laughs> my <laughs> squad. <laughs> all the time, I, even still, your squad. Yeah, though, yeah. you guys all smoked and shit too. So yeah, I don't want to hear it from you guys. Okay, we smoked, but we called out. <laughs> Dude, we can slightly more, slightly more. But our squad, I'll admit it, yeah. we didn't give a fuck. Dude. Yeah, and it sucked. It was horrible. I was all league on the worst looking to squad in a while. Hey, we still beat Palm Desert, so we weren't that okay. bad. We Did beat you lose to Cat City? No. Wait. Okay. Not. Did you guys? The Indian? only team we lost to was Palm Springs. Okay, I'll give you a pass. Yeah, that was the only team ever. What? In my okay, so varsity. there was there was a team oh, yeah. that lost to Cat City. Who who was that first? 2013, 14? Do you know? It must have been 2014 because I was 2013. Okay, we never lost never to Cat City okay. or Indio oh, okay. or any of those do garbage teams. Uh, do we? Oh no, they don't know how we oh. met. So I don't. So let's go into that. How yeah. did you guys meet? So she was my roommate. Wait, wait. Say oh, okay. how we met. Say how you guys <laughs> met. <laughs> Originally, how did you guys meet? Originally, I was dating a Cat City football player. Yeah, oh, he was, man. This was 2008. Eight. It kind of sounds like some of that way that we met. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. Oh, yeah. I, just I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring it up. Let's get back to how you guys met. Let's yeah. Get back to you. <laughs> yeah, no. So she was dating a football player that was playing at San Diego Mesa. I was originally going to go to Palomar. Uh, out of high school, and then I ended up just going to San Diego Mesa. The coach actually came up there, recruited him, uh, recruiting us. What was his name, though? Lay? Coach, coach Lay? Lay? Yeah, Coach Lay came up there, recruited us, blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, to make a long story short. I ran track at Mesa. Yeah, she ran cross country. We were roommates. But she was, like, dating some other guy. But then. He the- moved in <laughs> with my boyfriend. That's what happened. He yeah. moved in with my boyfriend. And two other guys. And, I, and then, so at the last minute, one of the roommates falls off, so I end up moving in because it's closer to school. I could just drive to work. 
So I'm living with my boyfriend. He's living. This is a bad story. This is a. I don't even know. I know. This is a whole. Okay. This is already. What do you mean it's getting good? This is good. Keep going. This is entertaining. Let's go. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so pretty much I just said, you know, she asked me what my name was. I said, you call me daddy. I, I pretty much just told her that. I said that. She was looking at me was like, a response. she was like, are you, is this guy serious? Or like, I was like, yeah, my name's daddy to you. And she was like, you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> we so, were just roommates from then on. Yeah, yeah. And he would always be in my room. Like when my boyfriend was gone. Bit. He'd just be trying to chop it up, talk. Trying to chill, yeah. But, like, not in the weird, just, like, a little weird. I was weird. trying to get at it. I don't even <laughs> lie. But, like, nothing you happened. Lie, nothing happened. Well, you're yeah. not. You got it. Mean, she's your wife. Yeah. And you got a kid now. But I so. moved, I, me and my boyfriend, we moved out. We moved to Cat City yeah. to stay rent-free, you know. And then we were just, I just had to, like, collect rent and, like, communicate with them that way. And then I ended up moving back to Sydney. I broke up with my boyfriend. And then that's. He went to jail. That's when he went to jail. And then literally two weeks later, he I was my 21st birthday. And then he was, I was, you know, everyone's posting, like, he, we broke up. Yeah, he, know, he, he posted yeah, yeah. something. And then he, he calls me on my 21st birthday. Yeah, straight <laughs> Just up. Just like, oh, like, oh, oh, you're single yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Uh, <laughs> you, again. Great. <laughs> and then it was a whole scandal. Kelly was like, you've been fucking over the whole time. All types of crazy yeah, shit was going was on. Like, and it was just like, me. what are you talking and about? And... I don't know. You might know Brandon Carrick. You probably ran into him or something. He's Maybe. out here. You probably know him. But anyway, younger brother. You probably know. You probably, you probably know both. Just I don't from know. I probably know him, but I don't know but their not names. Like I'm that. not good with names. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm anyway, yeah, he, he, I'm gonna smoke a lot of weed. He's over here. He's over here on the down. Low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my podcast. Oh, wow. On my podcast. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So nah, Kelly was getting all mad. I don't know if you want to. You don't have to edit this out. Kelly, I love you. I know you went to, you know, Ohio, what is it, Ohio University now? You know, I, 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 I don't love you, Kelly. I don't No, care. no, no. I'm no, not no, editing no, this not, out. Not, this not, is already in the podcast. Not that, no, We're already in the middle I love of you it. as a friend. I'm just saying. I want, it, I want the best for you, and that's it. That's no, all I'm I know. saying. I'm just saying I don't like, love her. Oh, okay. I <laughs> I'm just saying I don't care, yeah. and this is staying in the podcast. <laughs> this is not going to I don't, yeah, I don't have an issue with her. I mean, like I said, I, I hope she's. She's doing well. I never really had an issue. Like I said, I, I feel like we should have just stayed friends. I don't feel like we'd ever even should have got serious. So I'm glad me and my wife met, and it's been good. So That's a far. crazy way to meet. I'm yeah. glad that you guys ended up like working we got pregnant hard. four months later. <laughs> That's Dang, how that went down. So how many? How long have you guys been together <laughs> now? Seven, Seven years. years? Yeah. Wow, you guys been together for a six. while now. Yeah, yeah. It's been Seven a while. years is a you guys are like almost with though. us. You guys are like the same, yeah, same yeah. amount of time. A lot of people don't last, dude. A lot of yeah, people last a couple of years and it's out. Because a lot of people don't want to, man. They, they don't want to try. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hard, like, hard and everyone's like, nope, yeah. I don't even want to try. It's not worth it. It's never perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. Worth it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, no, nah, man. I mean, it's cool. Like I said, I, I, I love being married. I mean, Overall, I love being married, but obviously, it's going to have its pros and cons like everything Definitely. else. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? She's a good woman. Obviously. Nothing's solid. Easy. Obviously, yeah. if you're single, you do whatever you want. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. <laughs> we know what the pro is on that. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, nah, but, but overall, man, she's a, she's a good woman. Uh, she helps me out a lot, honestly, man. I wouldn't even be where I was without her, to be honest. I mean. Yeah. Well, she Have seems like she's track. your. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seems like she's your backbone to your social media shit yeah. she's like taking My all best. the photos and she's over there like yeah bro all and uh shit man yeah. shout out joe green and uh charles man the, those are my marketing dudes oh man, there you from go the yeah. philippines and in europe man they wow. they shit. help me out a lot a lot i mean hey bring you up your that. can you bring up your blog a little bit Talk yeah. About it a little bit. yeah let's so shit man what, what do you want to know about it like i don't know just how you got got into it and, and oh, okay. what caused you and and i know it's in what san diego it's about san diego right? yeah yeah well yeah. it's i mean it's pretty much just lifestyle, just lifestyle oh okay oh, so yeah. how i got into it really man uh i've always been a writer in my opinion i've always liked to write right so I was like, okay, like, how can I, like, like, create a story but, but with, with pictures? And then I seen a guy by the name of Magic Fox. He's on Instagram, one of the biggest, like, influencers right now. And uh, I kind of just mirrored him a little bit because I was like, man, I kind of like his style. You know what I mean? Like, it's really inspiring. But not, like, the the arrogant inspiring. Like, the, wow, like, you're just really doing what you love to do. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I got into it full throttle, uh, what, 20... 
13 or 12? 2013. I went to my first SD blogger meetup at Beerfish, I want to say. Was it Beerfish? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so, bro. We've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't so remember. Like, I can't remember like, specific like, details. We've been doing this for so long, and it's such a grind that I'm like, man, I'm always just moving. I'm literally, I don't even look back. So when yeah, I'm telling exactly. you guys this stuff, I'm literally trying to think like, okay. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, like, so Beer Fish was my first official blogger meetup. I met this couple by the name of. Coleman Concierge. Yeah, Coleman Concierge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coleman Concierge. She sounds like my she wife. Is yeah. <laughs> my yeah, wife yeah. does the same shit, dude. I'll yeah. be like, I don't know shit. Yeah. Be like, oh, hey, do you know? Do you know what time this is going on? Yeah. So I'm like, like why are you life. asking me? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. What the it's fuck? Yeah, yeah, she has it all down. Yeah, so we met them. They helped us out a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to them. They helped us out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, man. Just by how growing the Instagram. Uh, literally reaching out to other people, the the follow for follow, reaching out to people in your niche, yeah, yeah everything. Because yeah. the biggest problem, people are like they're creating the Instagram, but they don't have a vision for it. Like, what's your audience? Yeah, exactly. You know what like, I mean? Who is are you it, trying to hit? Yeah, 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 is it fashion? Is it fitness? Is it what? Because people say, oh, I want to be a lifestyle blogger. Okay, lifestyle. That's not that's broad. Mm -hmm. kind of like narrow style. it down a little bit. You know what I mean? Break yeah. it down. So me is fitness, fashion, travel. And then I, I kind of incorporate, you know, a little bit of stuff. My dog, you know, me and my sister are actually working on it. Well, me, her, and my sister working on it. I didn't want to exclude her. I seen the face <laughs> going right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging that hole. I'm digging yeah. that hole. Uh, yeah, so no, 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 man. So yeah, me and, me and my sister, we're creating a company called Bully Fit right now. Uh, that's our official name for it right now, and she's yeah. My sister's been that. a designer for so that's for nice. like is like dog clothing or what yeah, dog it? clothing, okay. leashes, uh -huh. everything, okay, everything, everything With you can do. Print. So nice, you nice. probably seen my French bulldog. I don't know if you've been on. Instagram. I haven't been on social media in a while now, but okay, uh, okay. But I did, I did see I it. I think when you first started the page, I think like, okay, I think I followed it like right when you started it. I think okay, it okay, yeah, okay. When's the last time you've been on? It's been a minute, a couple of months now, huh? She's Somebody. Yeah, January. I don't know. I kind of did a social it's good. media cleanse. It's I've good. Been, it's nice, dude. I like it. We never so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, <laughs> yeah. you know, through everybody else, this can kind of get a little bit of a an audience, and then I can kind of build from there. Because I'm not, I'm not on social media, dude. And I like it. It's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. It's nice. Just focusing on the family, yeah. working, and just trying to build like what well, I'm doing. Because social media will make people think that life is easy. Mm -hmm. And I just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> only see the good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not. What? Why am I and gonna? It's not, yeah. Why am I going to tell you that I'm arguing with my wife? Why am I going to put that on social right. media? Yeah, right. Exactly. Air out all my laundry. No. That's yeah. not for you. That's for yeah. me. That's I'm going to show you. Life. Yeah. I'm going to show you to, to make you have a good day. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to have a bad day. I'm having a bad day today. Here, I want right. to make you feel good. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, the biggest thing, man, with me, I literally do it to inspire the community. And the biggest thing, I know African Americans, man, I mean... The hip hop scene. I mean, it's a joke. I mean, come on. I mean, you it got is a joke. Oh. You got these people, you know, with these visuals and stuff like that, and then you got this little teenage black kid thinking that's, you know, that's the life to be a gang member or to be a dope dealer or whatever. And I'm trying to kind of deter that, right? I'm trying to say you don't have to be that to be right. successful. You can be an influencer, and you or you can be whatever you want to be. Yeah. Or it, it doesn't really matter. Because you're not the crowd. That's you're what I'm you. saying. Yeah, you're right, you. right, right, right. You can be however you want to be. Yeah. Right. So my biggest thing, man, is really just to inspire the community. That's yeah, all I want to do. Just like how I inspired you. You know, you reached out to I didn't even know you was yeah. watching me like that. You yeah, see what I'm I saying? just saw it and I just saw it. <laughs> like, you're the only one that looked like you're making, making moves, moves from yes. anywhere in La Quinta. Everybody else doesn't do shit. So I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the only person I could reach out to that had any sort of yeah, expertise yeah. or anything would be you because you look like you're doing it and you yeah. look like you're doing your own thing. And that's what right, I want right. to do. That's kind of obviously I started my clothing brand. I'm doing my drone videography and photography. Like, like everything's been for me to do it on my own because I don't want to work for nobody. Yeah, I want to yeah, work for yeah. myself, Biggest and just like you said, you want to be home with your family, yeah. dude. I want to, I want to coach my kid in baseball. I want to coach him in That's football. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't want to miss no games. Like. All right. That's kind of how I want to be, That's and I'm not gonna. Schedule. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop it. I'm not gonna let nobody keep me from doing that. I'm not gonna work for security, dude. I'm gonna get the fuck out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the biggest. That's the biggest thing, bro. So that's why I reached out, and and I don't know. And I'm happy you didn't think it was like for me to get off your fame. Or oh yeah, nah. And, bro. and I know you can always like that, but yeah, you know me from high school. Yeah, so that's, good. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, already, you've always been. It's funny because you talk a lot now, but you were. 
I ain't never talked, bro. Yeah, yeah. Quiet. High school, I ain't say nothing, he was just bro. Ch- but like, not like weirdly, just like you know, I'm chilling. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm with my girl. You know, I'm playing ball. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want any problems. Yeah, much. exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was younger, so I was like, <laughs> "You're an older homie." I was like, Even with "You're the- cool, dog." I yeah. Be like you. Yeah. I be like, "Chill." Yeah, yeah. I was like, "No, you don't." Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be like me, man. Nah, man. But nah, I always thought you were cool. You were always cool too. And yeah. like I said. You brought it up. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I remember <laughs> you yeah, being around. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. That's I know. how we met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So. She's been around for a while. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, nah, it was crazy, though. Ramon was crazy. Yeah, he was a little crazy. He never tried nothing with you, though, right? Nah, he was cool with me. He was cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I was shocked. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. I thought he was going to kill you, bro. I'm not even going to lie. He never told I me shit much, about anything. Okay. Even, yeah, yeah. When he and I okay. broke up, I just told him, I was like, look, I'm moving on. Okay. You need to do the same thing. Don't bother me or anybody that I, like, talk to in the future. Okay. And then it just so happened to be Troy. Yeah, yeah. And everybody talked shit. And everybody was like, "Oh, he's gonna fuck you." Up. Yeah, I was kind of. And I thought yeah. he was. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, "Well, I'm yeah. gonna try to survive yeah. and see what happens." Yeah. You, were, you were G for that. Well, he had like, a rage yeah. for sure. Yeah, so it's hard to tell like, what he was. Yeah. He's yeah, a dude too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm a freshman and he's big, dude. I was like, I'm tough though. I'm tough. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked up, yeah. but I'm tough. Dude, he was big, homie. And, and they like, were bold Whoa. about it. I mean, they were holding hands and stuff. I was like, oh, okay. At first, it was just fun. <laughs> At first, it was just fun. Because like. I had a girlfriend, dude. Ooh, I had a girlfriend yeah. at the time. I had Shadow Hills. This girl, Courtney Buma in Shadow Hills. Okay. So he and I started talking, and it was just like hanging out, whatever, outside of school. And then... One of his friends tells me that he has a girlfriend, and I'm like, a couple friends. Wait a second, I didn't know that you had a girlfriend. This would not be going on if I knew that you had a girlfriend. And he's right. like, yeah, but it's kind of like we're gonna break up. I haven't talked to her in like two weeks, and I'm like, come to find out, she was on my mo- my mom was the softball coach at Shadow Hills High School. Yeah. She was on my mom's softball team, so I go to one of the games, and then. I'm, like, talking to a couple of people that were, like, around me, and they're cheering for her in yeah. center field. And I'm like, oh, you guys know Courtney? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, they're like, oh, uh, oh there's Courtney's boyfriend. And I look over, and I'm like, yeah, exactly. I'm expecting for it to be Troy, <laughs> but it's not Troy. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so it's a big circle of bad and shit. And then though. they're talking about how he just got her name tattooed on her side, all right, all right. or on his side, excuse all me. And I'm right. like. Wait a second. I thought that she had a boyfriend that went to looking to high school. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, that's her boyfriend right there. He comes to Shadow Hills. And I'm like, okay. So I step aside and I'm like, Troy, your so called girlfriend yeah. over here has a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know it's what bad, you got dude. going on, but I know what we got going on. <laughs> so, so she took over. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, all right. Well, so she'll just slide right out, and I'll just slide and now, right in. Yeah. <laughs> Two kids later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nine That's years how later. it happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew yeah. you guys were gonna work out though. I mean, I've always seen you guys kicking in and stuff. I was like, oh, they really, really rock with each other. For me, I was always like. Girlfriends, I don't know, man. At that time, I was like, Drama. there's plenty of times. Yeah. There's plenty of times where I was like, what the fuck am I doing, dog? Girlfriends, yeah. What the? And yeah. you know, yeah. especially I feel in high school, I was yeah. like, yeah. when he was yeah. in high school, I was so crazy, like very, she was a savage, like, bro. because that's how Ramon was with me. Oh, and okay. I, you kind of picked up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay, and I okay. started being that way with him, and he's like you're acting crazy. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, this yeah. is the way that it is. You don't need to be going and hanging out with people. Like, you, we need to be hanging out. And so, and that's how Ramon was. And right, so right. it was, Our, vi- yeah. yeah and I know. started being that way. <laughs> so it was, it started to get really bad for a while. And so I could understand why he was like, what the fuck am I doing? It was work, why dude, do I have work, a girlfriend yeah. in high yeah. school who doesn't let me do anything? And I could never like, see that because she was always so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, she's yeah. good See, to she's everybody. <laughs> she's good. Oh, yeah. there, so. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm just his girlfriend. I'm so okay. nice. Uh, oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're in the middle of a podcast. Yeah. This is the yeah. hundred podcast. Like, wait, hold on. Come on, we gotta keep it going. <laughs> That's 
yeah, my brother. No, but, Let me get this. Actually, I was actually good for, friends with Ramon. He was cool, but that man, he was crazy, bro. Yeah. Crazy. He had I a good heard. heart for yeah. other people, but I think that it was just a hurt heart. Mm. And so he didn't ever open up, and I think that he always felt the need to, like, protect himself and and not protect and like protect no, himself yes. from everything seriously because <laughs> you know? no seriously if you even look at her mm-hmm. you should be like i'm like oh yeah bro. the homie yeah, I'm like, yeah. Hey, that's you bro you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and, and but they could have do you remember edwin i do i do, I mean, do you remember he was tripping what? yeah, yeah. Edwin came up can to we me. get a new topic <laughs> Can we like, get a new fucking? Okay, moving come on. Come on, hundred bucks. Right, this right, is right. my podcast. Guys, Sorry, on. hey, look, podcast. it's getting too serious. Sorry, guys. Can we get a new topic, please? I'm gonna get a beer or a cider because I'm so gangster. Cider. cider. Nah, that's crazy oh, though. Man, that's crazy. That's that is. That's crazy topic-ish. though. But nah, like I said, you you've always been really cool. I always remember you, and you've always been solid too. So that's the only reason I was willing to do it. Because I said, nah, he's cool, though. Because I know know what you were saying. Like, yeah, there's people that try to reach out to me and that. They try to, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Of course. I made it clear from the beginning. Because I know know how it goes, you know. People want to just, like, eat off you, you Mm -hmm. know. They want to eat off you. She hates that. She gets so mad. We're not even (laughs) there yet. And we've just started doing, like, my business and his small businesses and you know we just started yeah. maybe a year or two or two ago yeah, and yeah. there have been several so-called friends that have done exactly what we are doing we're yeah. not gonna name names but one yeah, no. i had an idea i was gonna do like a coachella like face mask like bandana, bandana face mask for coachella for my any up clothing brand okay. and i told like literally like two three people okay and he was one of them and they come to find out they're selling Coachella bandanas during yeah. Coachella. And, right, right, right. So you bit, bite yeah. up, yeah. And then yeah. she's doing, like, custom stuff. And, like, we talked about it because we can't hung out with them before. Yeah. And A few times. And, yeah, a few times. And then a couple weeks later, they're doing custom. The exact like, same, the same thing. Like, same thing. Yeah, yeah literally oh, okay. copying, yeah. like, so exactly what we're doing. Did you guys you know. confront them? I mean... Like we just kind of got our, I guess, got our distance, I guess. Yeah, okay. I've kept my distance and I've yeah. made it known that I know what's going on and that I am not, not What are you going to do? Yeah. Fight them over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, and I've wished them luck, you know, yeah. because I, I don't want any bad vibes put on me or yeah, towards my up, business. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to continue to work forward and, and move forward and whatever you do, you. But I know what I did was because of what I was doing. And right. you're doing it because you got the idea for me. Okay, right. so good luck to you, exactly. and I hope that you wish me the same, and I'll just continue to do me, and I, you know, hope yeah. that you succeed, but I hope that I succeed a little bit more. Speaking of copying, just because I, I know from Dejan, okay. Dejan's had people fake like their Dejan, like put his pictures on like Facebook. Like and catfish? Yeah, like yeah. catfish. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody do that? Not, yet. Yet. Not, Not yet. that I know of. Not that I know of. Okay, I okay. Look for that. That would be, yeah. Probably. You'd be surprised. Fan pages, but not. Yeah, oh, yeah, pages. Pages. yeah. Oh, but not like pretending shit. It's crazy. to be him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, like, well, it's just like, it's people that I know. Like, that Charles, are like running them. Um, yeah, yeah, and they're like, yeah. Yeah, we're going to create a fan page. Like, oh, yeah, that's cool, bro. Do that. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. literally yeah. faking being like me. But not like pretending to be you. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we haven't found that. I don't even know if you really want to be me, bro. I'm not that cool. Look me up. You really love me. Let's think about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think you can yeah. really pretend to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, it's, so it's what's your crazy. guys's what's your guys's five year plan or ten or five ten year plan? Whatever you guys want to go with. What's okay. Your ten year FC. So how are you gonna conquer? So okay. So moving forward, I'm just gonna continue what I'm doing now. I mean, it's working for me. Uh, my my system's working. I mean, it's working out. So I don't really have to switch up too much. It's just more staying focused, Got keeping you. the vision clear. And staying consistent with the content. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. Keeping my audience engaged. Because yeah, the yeah. biggest thing is people start the, the, the brand, but then they think they're going to see something in two years. No. I didn't see anything to what? Three years? Was it three years? Four. Four years? Yeah. You yeah. just keep working. You know what I mean? Four years. And then, you know, people are giving up six months. 
You just started. You just started. <laughs> like, how is that? Yeah. It's not going to be profitable more <laughs> than likely in the first year. Like, yeah. You have to work past all of that. And yeah. if you're not willing to work past it, you're not going to get there. Ever. So, so yeah. So my, my 10 year plan, man, is really just to stay consistent and uh, just uh, really just continue to motivate the masses uh and keep inspiring people like you man i mean like i said i didn't even know you guys were even following me i didn't even honestly when you reached out to me i was kind of like oh shit what up bro like, yeah i know you know what i mean i, know, <laughs> I, I think i reached out and you reached yeah. out back like a yeah. couple weeks later because i know you said people like kind of run your instagram so yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah you yeah. barely saw it like even it was a week later or something and you're like yeah i don't up, dude? Yeah, yeah 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 i don't i don't check my stuff i mean what i'm on social media what? i'll check it yeah, I'll tell like, oh, you're you're like I'm yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll make sure yeah. it's good. You know, yeah. you chicks get weird and all that. Yeah, so you got to you got to stay on top of that, man. And uh, like, so back to your question, man. The five ten five to ten year plan is literally overall is just to stay focused, continue to do what we're doing, and pretty much, I mean. There's really no, because you can't really plan. Yeah, you don't have a plan, but like, what's your, you know, like, yeah, what's your, yeah. your kind of like your goal or your so, vision, okay, so your vision goal? I'm doing a podcast forward. in San Diego on the 20th. I'll be dropping a big project then. Yeah. So, uh, that's going to be really, really informational for people that are trying to get into what I'm doing. And just overall, just exactly. online marketing, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be really, really helpful. So, I'm, I'm going to be selling for $19.99. It's going to be really affordable for everybody to get. I'm not trying to gouge anybody. I really want people to get the information. Secret cause... project. Be yeah. on the lookout for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know about it. You guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, uh, yeah But you man. will soon if you stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that because I honestly shocked myself. I mean, I got in. I start doing it. What, what is it? The book? Yeah. Uh, like, hey, la, la, la. Oh, the what? The. <laughs> 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 edit that part out. I'm gonna yeah. try to edit that out. I don't know. I'm yeah, gonna try my best. Hey, yeah. Just put like a bleep over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You're gonna have to it, guess. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, yeah. So it's gonna be really, 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 really informational because I started on it for. Well, I started on it. Like I'm not good with the dates. What I like about <laughs> what I like about it is yeah. it like it's also just such as on his personal development. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The yeah. informational part of it. And it's a lot of good information. I worked mm -hmm. on it. I mean, as I show your build up, your build yeah. up. Yeah, from, for from childhood. Two yeah. years. Oh, okay. nice. I, I bring him. I literally show him literally from start to finish, from literally how I found my niche to all the way, you know, everything. I break yeah. it down because people ask me questions. I don't remember all this shit, okay? <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> like, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, here. I just, I went to a coffee shop. I literally, I was like, babe, I'm going to go, hey, I'm going to go do this. I need an hour to myself. Don't text me. Don't call me. Don't even, don't look at me. Don't, I'm uh, in, you know, I'm, I'm, busy, I'm yeah. doing this. <laughs> And I and I and I started working on it, man, and just start flowing and start flowing, and then maybe two years later, I said, I'm gonna launch this. This is this is gonna be really really informational for for people that are really trying to get into my niche. And yeah, man, I'm I'm really proud of it, really. And I don't see I don't right. see much information website wise or any yeah. any any wise uh, about that, like social media influence or anything. I don't see any, yeah. any information about that or how to get there or, or anything really. You know? Yeah, yeah, and I'm and I'm getting all these DMs, man, and it, and it's and it like I said, it, it really warms my heart because I'm like, oh, you guys really, really. You like see that life? you're doing yeah. something. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> like, like, the hard work. It's yeah. working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's crazy because I'm so humble. People don't understand that I'm really humble. Like they probably think like I just got cocky or whatever, but it's like. No, bro. It's, yeah, it's yeah. opposite. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm literally going out on a limb. I'm nervous. I'm just as nervous as probably the Ooh. next person. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. The only difference between me and the next person, I literally, the first, my first interview with, I want to say Compass Airlines, I literally, it was like 60 people in front of me. And I literally was like in front of 60 people. And they were all just kind of looking like... <laughs> That's what you got? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, so, yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, you know? I'm learning. You yeah. guys are teaching me, like, oh, okay, so that's what you guys like. Okay, what else do you want to learn? Because yeah. people are DMing me, asking me questions. I'm like, oh, you guys want to know the information? I'll give it to you. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if I give you the information. You can't do it like me. Exactly. You got to do it your they own. Have yeah. to, they have to work. 
twice as hard yeah. as they do because they don't even <laughs> know the grind like yeah, they do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Even if, even if you do have the same worth ethic, I'm me. I'm unique. Mm-hmm. You're you. You're you. You're you. Be you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody can be chill. Nobody can be Troy. Nobody can be cheeky. You know, just as simple as that. Yeah, so exactly. once you start really put, if you, if everybody would just understand, literally, you're in your own lane. Stop yeah. comparing yourself to everybody else. That's yeah. where everybody's losing. Mm-hmm. What are you comparing for? There's plenty of room. There's plenty of, like, yeah. there's plenty of food yeah. out there, bro. Like, like, you just do your thing. And you'll make it, and, you know? Yeah, so I'm saying. So it's cool. Like like how you said Joe Rogan, he, he inspired you. Not, don't compare yourself to him. You could say exactly. he inspires you. Yeah. Do you. You got the 100 podcast? Go for it, bro. I like it. Yeah. That's why I'm doing it now. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. I, I like it because podcasts... They're cool, man. Like conversations, we never just sit around and just chop it up, man. Anymore. Not our age, man. Everybody's man, doing not this, younger. man. We're yeah. all on the phones and doing all that. I, you know what I mean? I come from, you know, what I was born in '92. Look, I'm a '90s baby, but I got '80 '80s ways because I was raised by my brothers and sisters. You know, we weren't on mm-hmm. the phones; we were outside kicking it, you know, hanging out. You know, actually, yeah. outside. I grew up in Blythe, so I was kind of the same way. We we're outside. You outside. know what I mean? So nobody, nobody was on their phones, and I, every time I look around, it's like, you're on your phone. We're kicking it. What are you doing on your phone? Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Your yeah. selfies, like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get just a put selfie it down every- for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're just losing our touch. Is humans. Social media is, is really good. I feel like it can be a distraction or I can feel like it can be a good thing. But it just depends on how you want to, you know, you exactly, want to do it. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. I decided to have somebody run my Instagram. I don't want to be following people and engaging all the, all the time. time. You know what I yeah. mean? Pay somebody to do that. I don't want to be on my social media. I want to hang out with you guys, talk to people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kick it, laugh. I want to be a human. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to look at people and post it and all that. I don't care, personally. Mm-hmm. I really don't even care. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't care that you had a hamburger at McDonald's yesterday. It looks great. But that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For you to have somebody else run it I because know, me too. it is I mean, like you're saying, it can be a good thing. Yeah. But if you're and if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. But it could be somebody. a good thing, so you yeah. should have somebody do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, social media is a is a great thing. You yeah, it is. It, it because, definitely yeah. Yeah. You have it, to have for marketing yes. and for promoting. Yeah. It's when you, like, yeah, when you start seeing companies like Big Lots, Walmart, then it's like, okay, I need to get an Instagram. Yeah. Because those are old, They're those are baby boomers. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So, and then, and the people that created those companies, they're not touching that stuff. Hey, man, no. we'll pay you. Yeah. You do you that. You do it. Yeah. I'm not dealing with that. I want to create the content. I want to create the work. That's all I want to do. I don't want nothing to do with social media. So I think the biggest thing is social media. And how do you be, go about that? How do you go about getting somebody to run your social media? Like, so I know you could, like, find it online It was. Whatever, it's but. crazy for me. They reached out to me. It was attractive. Oh, there your you energy. go. Your energy. Yeah. Your energy. Keep asking those questions. What do you want? What do yeah. you want? What do you want? Keep asking. It's crazy. People were like, chill, how'd you do it? I literally was like, chill, what do you want? What do you want to do? Or he would be crying at night, like, telling me, like, when am I going to work with brands? Cry, like, literally. Like, crying. upset, Tears. like, telling me, yeah. like, someone, like, how do I, like, he's reaching out to me, reaching out to people. Years. And then it, like, just, everything just, yeah, like, Yeah, it started to, to flow. Work. And I was, and like. He was looking for it, and it just came. It just started it was happening, crazy. Yeah. Somebody called me, we want to fly you to New York City. I was ter- I got teary-eyed. Like, of course. What? You worked so hard, and it finally was, like, bam. Yeah, because I'm not a, I come from shit. Yeah, My yeah, dad yeah. was a crackhead. Uh, he was a game banger from Oak Park, Bloods, Sacramento. Uh, my mom, I never really seen my mom until I was like 20 years old. So I come from a background that people probably wouldn't even know because I'm always smiling and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah, rough yeah, for me, yeah. you know what I mean? So something for like like that for me, it's like, oh, wow. Like, you going to find me in New York? It breaks me down, you know? Even talking about it now, you know, it makes yeah, me like, yeah. damn, man. Like, it's humbling to me, man, because yeah. I literally come from nothing. And it's cool because it, it, <laughs> you built it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nobody, nobody else built that shit. You built it. Yeah, yeah. And the whose epic. phone is that? Damn Not it. Yours? Is that I just kidding. I just kidding. Oh just shit! Kidding. Oh, I thought <laughs> it. <laughs> it's just is like that mine? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think it is. Mine's on silent. Always got somebody calling me. I guess I'm a celebrity or something. Yeah. Just the social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, nah, but, and that's gotta be cool, man. You built it yourself, you know, and yeah. you see it. You finally seeing like the fruits of your labor. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. It, like happen. Yeah, and it was literally, man. I just thought, and I, and it's funny because people probably, <laughs> I listen to people like Bob Proctor, uh, Les Brown. Uh, I read books. 
People yeah. are like, Yo, you don't and I don't books. know who the you know what I mean? <laughs> you read books. You read? Yeah. <laughs> you read? Um, you know, straight up, straight up, straight up. Look. I used to portray myself as a dumbass. You know what I mean? I knew I was. Oh, it used to be cool, dude. It used to be cool. Ignorant, ignorant, just ignorant. Didn't care, you know, flamboyant, sagging. You guys remember. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. You know, I was a a rough kid, but it was only because I thought I had to be that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't have a father. That was the only option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's why I kicked it with Rudy. And people don't know Rudy, man, that dude, I mean, he has a rough background, too. And that's why me and him related. You know, I, I walked in his house. Uh, his uncle's a pimp. You know, there's prostitutes all coming in out the house. His mom beating up the prostitutes because they not they don't have the money. Like, you know what I mean? His Christ, mom smoked dude. out. And you how do you expect him to be? You know, exactly. Like, from you that, know what I mean? Yeah. People judging him. I'm like, well, you don't know him. You know, you don't you don't come from that. Wow. So, you okay? You walk a mile in his shoes and tell me how you would be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause it's rough. It's rough, man. Especially if you don't have a father. You come from these gang. Uh, I mean. Cause we don't know anything. We're just kind of seeing, you know, we're yeah. just kind of figuring out like everybody else, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's why I kind of got close with Coach Armstrong because he actually was fathering me. You know what I mean? That was one of the biggest. He's like trying to like get you in the right direction. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I went to Mesa because he was like, I think you should go to Mesa because I know you know Coach Lay, and it was a blessing because I met my wife. Yeah. She literally does all my photography. I would literally have to pay somebody like 400 bucks yeah. for all my video work. She literally does all of it. She not do that, you know what I mean? She she she's doing her own thing, but she sacrifice. And I and I'm not easy to work with. I will be real. As husband and wife. Yeah. yeah. I feel like with like if you had your own photographer, it might yeah. be a little bit different. But knowing that it's your wife, yeah. it's <laughs> a little bit different. You know, you want to go a little and harder. Yeah, yeah. And we know that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. know that we can do it for sure. Um, but I, I was gonna ask a question, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to go back to that point. Okay. Um, that that like that that hard upbringing and how you want to like like i think that that should be like your main goal bro like you should focus on those kids that are that have that upbringing yeah, like rudy yeah. and tell them like you really don't have to be that way you yeah, know like yeah, i know yeah. everything you see in front of you right. is fucking bad and you're right. seeing all this this shit that like well it's the only choice you know right 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 and you should show them like well well that's, that's one of the, the one option like you don't right. have to do that that's not right. the one option. you have a hundred different options ten thousand different options to be right. honest you know you yeah, can do right. anything you want right, right, right just because right. your upbringing doesn't make you you exactly. your upbringing is just exactly. it's a part of it but it doesn't make you 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 should be able to be what you want to be literally if you seen her background you wouldn't believe it you see what i'm saying like you wouldn't you wouldn't even believe if you met her parents you would be like <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's like, oh, oh, okay. That's, but how come you're, you know what I mean? So it's like, you don't have to be from where you come from. It's literally, you have to make your mind up. Who do you want to be? Yeah, exactly. exactly. You yeah. know, who do you really want to be? Do you want to be this, you know, person, you know, gang banging and, and, and have them look over your back? Or do you want to travel the world and inspire people and do stuff that you never even dreamed of? I'm doing stuff that I never could even dream of right now. I could say that. Yeah. Going to New York City, that's how many how, how many times did I talk about that? Mm-hmm. I, I literally spoke it into existence. That's another thing, the law of attraction. You have to speak what you want into existence or it won't come true. Because people think like, oh, you know, I got to work hard. But you got to okay, you gotta think about it every day, though. What do you want? What do you yeah. want? Yeah, and you have to yeah. literally, and I'm telling you. don't just think about it. No, talk yeah. about it. Picture and it. isolate mm-hmm. yourself. Stop kicking it with all your homies. Cut them off for two. I literally cut the homies off for two years. You know. Mm-hmm. Cut on, I cut everybody off because I had to hear my thoughts and what I Just wanted to do. Just clearly what you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. I want to do. Now, when I get this going, I'm going to come back and say what's up. I don't think I'm better than nobody, but they thought it's funny because I actually talked to a couple of my homies, man, and they, they were like, man, honestly, we were saying F you. We thought you switched up, but I'm glad you called. And I said, see, that's the problem. Don't ever think, don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't I'm even not... know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Don't start mad. talking about everything like you right. know. You don't even you know. You don't even know what I'm doing. I'm cooking up something to feed you. Yeah, exactly. And you Just and everybody wait. around you. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, cause I'm trying to build something. Because I'm trying to put the homies on, too. I'm not trying to do this for me. I reached out to Desmond White, one of my best friends. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to put him on. I'm trying to put Jam- Jameson Mars. You remember him? You guys remember him? Mm-hmm. Football player? I don't even know if you remember. He played. What's his name? Jamison Mares, Jamie. You probably yeah, know. I think I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to put him on yeah, too. Yeah. So I'm literally Dre, another good friend. But anyways, it can go on and on. But anyways, I'm literally trying to create a platform 
to where I can start saying, okay, you work for me. You get on. You can get on. You have to work for me, but I'm saying I'm trying to like put trying people to get on. you somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you see yeah. what I'm saying? So put everybody. them somewhere where they may in a good position. Been. Yeah. So we all can eat. You know, you make ten thousand. You make ten thousand. Yeah. I make ten thousand, and everybody eats. You know what I mean? Because I I'm into doing good business, right? So I want it to be a win-win situation. Yeah. That's why I said, okay, you want to do the podcast? Let's do it. Yeah. You know, it's a win-win situation. I want to do it. You want to do it. I'm getting the podcast. Perfect. You're yeah, my boy. Exactly. This Are is you kind of ne- like your warm-up right here. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. This is it. my first one, and you ain't gonna. I was nervous to do this. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? And yeah. you're my boy. Yeah, exactly. It's just one of those things that people probably think I'm so confident. I'm so not. I'm yeah. just a believer in God, and I just believe that He's the. I want to say. So, what is the person that directs the movie? A director, yeah. pretty much producer of my life. That's what I try to believe. God's so. Anything that's going to happen, God's going to make sure it's going to happen for my good, right? That's what I believe. So if I believe like that, I know it's not always easy. Right. You know what I mean? Especially when things aren't going your way. You know, when it looks dark, but you honestly have to sit in that closet. You have to have like a war room almost where you talk to God, man. Like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be honest about it. I really don't know what I'm doing. And once you say that, everything will start to unlock. Because all God is trying to get us to do is just be humble. That's all he wants. Because I was ignorant. I thought I was to everything. I thought I couldn't be touched. Went to jail, got in trouble, all types of stuff. All types of traumatic stuff happened. And then God was like, do you believe me now? Do you hear me now? I'm trying to get you back. Because the whole, this life is all designed. This is just what I believe. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to, you know, step on people's toes. But I believe this life is designed just to give back to God. Really. To be honest. I hope so, and I hope that that's what a lot of other people. You know, do. <laughs> I think I think there's something up there. Dude. I don't know. I believe there's God and stuff. I don't know. I'm just not like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like a religious yeah. person. I don't say like I'm Christian. I believe there's God or something because like, this all the shit isn't here for no reason. Yeah, We're not yeah, all yeah. gonna. It just doesn't make sense to me. We're just gonna what die and then nothing right. happens. Like right, right, right. so, like I, I definitely believe in God, and I I believe like there's somebody up there like looking out for us and shit. Right. Um, but I just don't have like a religion. I, I believe think, if you're a good yeah. person, you're a good person. And like, right, 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 right. if you're going to go to heaven and you're a good person, then you're a good person. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. That's right, kind of right, how right. I feel. I don't really feel like, oh, if you believe in this certain religion, then you're. I don't believe that, yeah. I don't believe that either. Yeah. I so, that and either. I feel like, luckily, like, that's kind of how a lot of people our age are starting to view it. You know, it's not like, you know, you view. Well, you like, have to be religious or yeah, whatever. I feel like it, it. Like if you say you're a Christian, it kind of divides you in a way. Exactly. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. You, yeah. We're all one. Like I believe in God. That's what yeah, I like to we're say. All one. Yeah. That's all. It's all connected back to. I. I think religion. Well, matter of fact, I know religion all is man made. You know what I mean? Exactly. And it's it all, is. It's all man made. I think the biggest thing is just God, man. I mean, I. Be, I believe that Jesus died for my sins. Now I don't know what you believe, and I don't. Yeah. 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 No. I like. I like. I said. I believe in God and everything. I just. Right. I'm not really a fan of religion and the right. whole church system and all that me either, whole, me you either, know me like, I feel yeah that. I feel so i'm trying to figure that out in my head like how to believe in god but not like believe in the church really you well know? you don't and god doesn't want in... you to be really hey, yeah, 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 yeah 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 so why what do you believe what's your take on it i call myself a christian and okay. i go to church i go to christian church right um but I don't have all the same beliefs yeah, as, yeah. like, a Christian. A I don't yeah, yeah. believe in all the traditional things, yeah, and yeah. I don't think that, and I don't hate on other religions. Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that if you believe in God, that yeah. you're going to, you know, you're gonna go gonna to prevail. heaven. Yeah, you're you're, 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 you'll be so all think, right. Guess, yeah. But, and I don't think that if you believe in a certain religion that you're unholy or you're not worthy or whatever. Um that's just kind of my take on it, but I'm not mm-hmm. super traditional. Big, big on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's your yeah. take on it? I agree. Like just the good people. Like if yeah. you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're a bad person, bad person. I just believe in like energy and I yeah, believe in yeah. God and like that He did die for our sins and all that. So like you're spiritual. Yeah, it's more of like I get really feed off of people's energy. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, what's you guys' let's switch the subject? What do you what's you guys' five to ten plan or sorry five uh, to ten year plan? Um, honestly, uh, my I can tell you my year plan. Like, okay, so I'm going into about to be off season for my work for security. Okay. So like, I'm switching to summer clothing. I wear like polo, like I wear like a dress shirt right now and a tie and all that. So I'll be in like a polo shirt. Okay. So I'm hoping by the time we get to season next year. 
I quit the job. I'm going to quit the job, and I'm going to focus on doing this podcast, doing my drone stuff, doing my clothing brand, kind of working for myself. And I'm just mm-hmm. going to take the jump and just take the risk, and, and we'll see. That's kind of like my year plan. I don't have no five-year plan. I don't have no ten-year plan. I got yeah. I put a couple grand, to be honest, in stocks. Okay. I got a couple buddies that I'm kind of, me and, me and them have been like, they're like really into it, and, and they're pretty good at it. They make pretty good money. Uh, so I'm kind of like the third yeah, wheel. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of like the third wheel in it. But, yeah, but you know, you gotta make gotta your money. Yeah, yeah, you gotta make yeah. your money work for you. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. I think I'm smart enough. I've always been pretty good with numbers, so I'm gonna test it, see how it goes. Okay. I've, I was in crypto, like cryptocurrency, okay. uh, like Bitcoin and stuff. I made like a couple hundred bucks, and then uh, I got out of that because it's just it's sketchy. I'm, I might get back in at some point, but. Uh, just trying to make my one my money work for me and trying to have like different routes of income not just mm-hmm. one route of income exactly. that's the and, key. and that's trying the key. to keep that's everything open that's that's and like key. the problem is like security like I'm working like okay let's say I'm working 40 50 hours a week like that takes up so much time dude like it kills half my income you know me. that's what I had to and that's why I have to yeah. just take the risk and quit you know yeah, and, yeah. and obviously I'm, I'm gonna try to build up my savings a little bit have it all built up but uh, I'm just gonna have to take the jump at some point and just go for it. You got to, man. Yeah. I mean, you gotta take risks, man. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing with life. You gotta take those risks. You gotta spend money to make money, yeah. really. Because what am I gonna do, dude? Yeah. Like, if you, if you never take risks, like you're just yeah. gonna sit in the same spot forever. Yeah. Like, do you want to do that? Like, yeah, honestly, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather go down taking a risk than just exactly. sit here in the same spot and be like. Fuck! Well, I, didn't do I, shit. I wish I would have went for that. Yeah, I, exactly. And that's, and that's, that's why I didn't want to get into that boat. Yeah. I wish I would have. I wish I would have. And I can say, All that okay, you right. see what I'm saying? So, I went for it. It worked out for me. If so, I can't guarantee that's gonna work out for you. Yeah, right. yeah, you yeah. I can't right. guarantee that. It and worked. maybe not the first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get back and try it again. It might work out the Could second or the third time. Right, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. You always try. And you have to be relentless. Yeah. You have to be relentless. So you're gonna cry. You know, I, I I broke down. You know, the first rejection letter I got. If you remember, I mean, it was what what was it? We were living in El Cajon, mm-hmm. and I want to say it was 2014, mm-hmm. and I broke down crying because somebody said they didn't want me to work for them. Yeah. I broke down crying because I'm like, fuck, man. You know, it's like, it's the entitlement. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we have to understand. We're just another person trying to go after the opportunity, so we can't get caught up in the feelings of it. We have to just mm-hmm. understand. Okay. Not Moving right. On. It just means not right now. Yeah. It doesn't mean no. That just opened yeah. another door. I need to find the other door. That's, that's what open. I'm saying. Yeah. And you have to keep keep because I what I got I did what six interviews to be a flight attendant before I got a yes, six mm-hmm. or seven, and then I still didn't even get you know I missed the test by two points. Yeah. And I still had to bounce back. I was crying all the way. Fuck! I didn't want to get on the airplane. I was like, I want to die. I think I just want to die because I had put it on Facebook that I was going to be moving to L.A. You're like, and oh, blah, blah, yeah, blah, exactly. And this and that. And I'm then, figuring it out. Yeah. I got my life figured Boom. out. Yeah. Everything shattered. I moved back to San Diego because we were going to move to L.A. Yeah, I moved back to San Diego. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do. <coughs> and I literally <laughs> was crying. Mm-hmm. And for two years, we stayed with her family. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, bro. Yeah. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm confused. I don't. I don't play football anymore. I stopped playing football at the age of 22, 23. Southwestern College in Chula Vista was a, like my last season, and I was like, "Damn, what am I gonna do? What am I really gonna do?" Because all yeah. football was life. Yeah. Right? Football was <laughs> yeah. Like, I I still had to figure that. I'm like still figuring that out right now, dude. And I like football ended in high school, bro. And I'm yeah. still like figuring it out. I'm still like, mm. what do I even like? I don't mm. even know what I like to be honest. You know, like. I like snowboarding. I can say I like snowboarding, but yeah. I'm not going to be a pro X You know what I mean? Like, what am know? I going to do that's really going to make me a substantial income? Yeah, and like something where I'm settled. <laughs> that's it. Like, I don't need to be rich, but something where yeah. like I'm at least settled and every month I, I, I get figure a, it out. I get a nice little chunk. Exactly. And then hopefully it turns into 100 a month. Yeah, hopefully. exactly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But you obviously want to keep building. So, right, yeah. right, right. So the biggest thing was, man, just uh, staying relentless and keeping the faith because... That two years, I was a dark two years of my life because I didn't know what I was going to do. And then my kid was already born at the time. So you're like, you're You're really... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, man, and then he's looking up to me and he's like, you know, and then she needs something. She's my wife and she's probably like, I'm relying. I'm the the head. I I take all responsibility. You know what I mean? I'm the man. You're the head of the household. Yeah. So it's like... I let my family down. I, I called her crying like I let you down. I think, I, did I say I let you down or something? I don't even remember the conversation, but 
Yeah, man. So pretty much it just stayed me staying relentless and keeping my faith. And then now, man, it's it's turning pretty lucrative online. Yeah. I mean, How is, are there any secrets to social media? Like, is there any secrets to your Instagram? Like, like to you getting like any extra likes or any for anybody that's looking to try to get in there and try to use Instagram as like a I would just a boost. I would just say you have to get a, a marketing team because they know all about all about the they SEO. They know that extra mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Your hashtags are gonna be yeah. the biggest. The biggest thing. The search engine optimizing, yeah. right? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I never studied that, so you have yeah. to go to the experts for that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? They I know what they're doing. That's how I feel the same yeah. way. I feel like there's certain people that just have it down. They you know see exactly what, I'm saying? what it is. And yeah. they know how to, literally, I he my guy, he sent me like three or four tiers of hashtags to use in certain posts at certain times and when to post, when not oh, wow. to post. Literally, see, break, yeah, so nobody broke has it that. down for yeah, you. Yeah, so like literally, me. I'll show you guys right now. I literally have... Like my insights, and I can see when all my followers are online, right? Yeah. So, right now, so if I was gonna post tomorrow, wait, where is that at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at, babe? Mm-hmm. You know I don't be doing all this stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> insights, boom. Audience, and then you go down here, and then you can literally see. I got eight thousand followers that are gonna be online this Saturday in at the morning. At nine a.m. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. you see a thousand likes. The people don't understand because they're posting when they're at the wrong time. Yeah, they're not even yeah. on. That's yeah, yeah. when you need to be posting. And see the where the blue is. Mm-hmm. I have eight thousand people that are gonna see my stuff at that time. Exactly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. We go. You seen I it think though? Over here. Okay. Boom. Okay. Right there. And you can see it right there. Eight point seven k and it caps out at eight point three k and then it goes down. That's how you have to post. Yeah. All of your followers are on there at that time. Stop yeah, exactly. posting just any time. You have and to really like, break yeah. it down. And yeah. that even has it down on days, I think. So you could yeah. obviously exactly. So days. if I want it, like I said, literally, where is it? Boom. Sunday. Yeah, literally. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, literally. All right there for you. So it's easy. It makes it a lot easier. That, But see, that was because I met my team. And they broke it down to me. You know, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah, you could be yeah, make, yeah. getting... Because I was only getting like 100 likes, 200 likes, 300 likes. And then... You know, it's and then I started working with these guys. I'm getting a thousand likes, you know, two thousand likes. It's because the hashtags, it's the obviously posting at the right time. You have to post in the morning when everybody's on. Stop posting just any random day. You it know? doesn't work that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that that's pretty much all my tips and tricks, man. And just like I said, you got to get a team. I mean, like if you know what you're doing, go for it. I didn't personally. So yeah, yeah. I had to I had to pay somebody. I mean, we're paying a car note a month. I mean. What we were paying like what four hundred bucks a month, you know for it, but it is paying off though. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you have to invest in yourself in order yeah. to you know see see yourself succeed for sure, and life's an investment. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would say, man, just reach out to people that are in your niche, and they're gonna support you anyway yeah. because they want to grow too. Exactly. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So reach out, to, go in those, go in those groups, man. Hey, let's all let's support you. Support me, I support you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your stuff. You like my stuff. Comment on my stuff. Back and forth, and it works that way. Yeah. It works. It works. What do you guys? What do you guys do when you're not on the business shit? When you guys aren't running the business? So when we're not running the business, uh, as far as like just not social media. Yeah, so yeah, family, like yeah, yeah. Like, how do you guys like get get off of that for like a day or for an hour or for thirty minutes? Like how do you guys like get so? Away from it? So, but what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean get away from it? Like. Like, what do out? you guys do for your free I time? Like oh, okay, what, okay. Like when it's I feel like that's not. the thing that we need to work on because I feel like even when we are having family free time, it's still we'll business. make a shoot, we'll make it happen, we'll make yeah. it work. And I feel like that's what me and him were like. We're like best friends, and so I feel like the business interferes with the friendship. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. just to be able to. Like, yeah. shut that off for shut a minute. Shut it off. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be about it right now. Let's right. just family think time. about it. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Just That's slow definitely... down sometimes, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it, once you get shit, I don't know if that's ever going to slow down. What do you mean shut it off? Yeah. 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 It's not like, yeah. 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 I, I, I wasn't understanding. So I didn't know if you meant like fun wise. Like, do we go on vacations? Do we like just like, yeah. Like, is there ever a point where you guys aren't like on the social, on social media, media or trying to like push your brand or your, your, <laughs> you, you, you know, like, is there, 
And I get it. It's kind of rough because that's like your thing. Yeah, that's how you yeah, make yeah. your money. You know what you know? I mean? So, like, so you can't really take no Because if you go on an adventure, you kind of got to still take to pictures and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, that's yeah. what the brands want you to do. Yeah, see, like yeah. these shorts are from a brand that I work with. This tank top is from a brand that I work with. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I have to always be shooting the content. So, you kind of still. But I do. We do take like a day yeah. or two. Like when we're, but we were still shooting in Laughlin. And <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Like, I don't like, know. Like, we're you're still out. shooting. Yeah. 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 Like I don't. Yeah, I really. There's really no days off. I. I guess I when you it. when you go to sleep, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. I get that. Yeah, so I like, get that. We're not really on any days off either. Yeah. Like, we're not, we haven't really had no too many days where we're just hanging out. Just well, yeah. You guys have two kids too, yeah, so that's exactly. another. That's thing. exactly yeah. why. So think about it. When you want to have another kid, think about it, dude. Because one... this one, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've come to terms. I've come to terms. Yeah, yeah. Fifty-fifty just isn't good enough. It's huh? not a good. It's not yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I mean, yeah. Except if I had another boy, I'd probably. I was always kind of open. Like, right, I was kind of open. Yeah. I was kind of open to the two kid, but we had the first one, and then I was like, "We wanted a boy." Oh, I can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's your parent. You yeah. know how it goes, bro. You know, you know, we it's like we wanted a boy too, and then we had two boys. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. We're okay. like, okay, we have two, two aggressive, savage children. They go at it. Okay. They, they go at like, it. They hit each other. This morning, I was good. watching them. They were outside riding in their little jeep. And Anthony's pushing the pedal, oh, yeah, no, no, no. and then Zeke starts to reach over with his foot and oh, starts pushing mm-hmm. the pedal. And he's, like, Zeke, no, you can't push the pedal. And then Zeke's like, No, bro, bro. And then he hits him in the face, and then TJ hits him back, and then they're going at it. And I'm like, Hey, you guys, knock it off. Let's see now. Yeah, the, the yeah. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nah. Constantly. But it. But it's. I. I, I definitely can see the the fruits in it at the end like when yeah. they grow up and they're hanging out and with you guys so you know what i mean like yeah. I, I definitely see it and then like even close with you guys like yeah. hey dad i want to go you know throw football or mom let's mm-hmm. you know, let's, let's go hang go out you know what i mean because yeah. i kick my mom's know, my best friend wait. you know my mom yeah. i talk like, to my mom when we were the he like sits on my lap still you know, yeah like, oh, <laughs> you're like come here baby yeah <laughs> you're still my <laughs> baby <laughs> yeah yeah so not nah, kids kids are cool man like overall they're cool it's just Obviously, pros and cons. Yeah, definitely. Pros and cons. And then you guys have to think about starting all over again. Yeah, that's that was like no sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you really be a part of that team? No sleep. Because I don't know if I can. <laughs> did you guys plan on having two kids, or how did it work for you guys? So with TJ, what happened was something threw us for a loop. Um, Troy and I got in. We had some shit go down and. Yeah. We our relationship <laughs> our relationship was pretty much done. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, this was during. Uh, no, it's inside. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Okay. Keep going. We're, we're, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were living in Ventura at the time, and um, some girl hit me up, and I found out some stuff, and okay. then I moved out, moved okay. back to the valley, and. Okay. Packed up my car and was like, "Okay, I'm done. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this." We were engaged at the time, and so I just really felt like I couldn't do it. Yeah. He came down, and of course, first second that we start talking, I'm like melting, and I'm like, "Okay, yeah, I'll take right. you back, no matter right. what. It doesn't matter." And right. so we got back together, and we were pretty much like, "Let's try to have a baby, like right, right away," and right. not that it was the smartest thing yeah, be given yeah, the circumstances yeah. but at the time it was like let's try to have a baby let's, right. and if it happens it happens and it was meant to be and if not then whatever yeah. so we tried and it happened and it we pretty much good. know like down to the day yeah, <laughs> that yeah, we got yeah. pregnant we got freaky bro <laughs> <laughs> and, and and like, I let it go dude and it was we're yeah, like if she's pregnant fuck it yeah. she got pregnant <laughs> Yeah, and, and I, yeah, and then nine months later, Anthony came. Oh, is and that mine? My parents, I mean, everybody was obviously shocked we were engaged at the time, but we had a two year engagement. So, from the day that we got engaged, was, which was our anniversary, we were going to get married two years later. And in came Anthony in that period of time. And everyone's like, well, are you guys still going to have a traditional wedding? And I'm like, yeah. well, it wasn't very traditional. We were living together. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much more traditional can you possibly get? We're All living right. together. We clearly <laughs> sleep together. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not very traditional. Right, so, right. my parents were kind of pit. Well, my mom, I should say. Right. My dad was kind of like, well, whatever. He was kind of excited. Okay. And 
TJ yeah. came, and then we were like, with Zeke, we are like, we want to have another one. We knew that we wanted them close. Right. We wanted a girl. And then, and he just kind of happened, kind of threw us for a loop, and we're like, well, we're pregnant. We were like, kind of trying. We like, yeah, kind of trying, not really trying, just whatever happens, happens. And yeah. Zeke came, another boy, and I felt so bad when I found out. He, he was, was the boy. boy. I started she crying. She was crying. Dude. Oh, really? <laughs> I was happy and she was like sad. Dude. It was like the worst day of her life. Yeah. I was yeah. like, and it's what's your kid? I was like, yeah. yeah exa- my mom was like, cheeky, but that's still your baby. I'm like, I know, but I wanted okay. a girl. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no. Regardless. Yeah, yeah. And now I look at him and I'm like, and he's like, his face is like so perfect. And I'm like. You would have been my girl, and like you would have been the perfect little girl. What? Can I just put a bow on you? And and he's like, no, no. And he's he hates it. Obviously, I'm like, thank God he hates it. I always see you guys working out, though. Always seen that. You guys always had that little. Always seen that. I was like, yeah, they're they actually really messy. I was like, hopefully, I can find that out in high school. Yeah. yeah, I know, and it's crazy that we found it in high school, and that we were able to make it through yeah. all but, the bullshit. I feel like that was like so half of bullshit. it, though, bro. That was like half of it was because everybody like talked shit on us. You know, everybody was like, "Oh, just like we weren't gonna make it or whatever." Like, wow. they're just like because the like way that it started else. too. Right. Like, just like, you guys are gonna always break up. You guys are never gonna work out, and it was always like, "Let's just prove them wrong." Yeah, yeah. let's Who just was keep proving them wrong. Just always like every, the just like like. I don't really have a Friend, source. Just some like, yeah. friends, oh, okay. some somewhat fr- close friends, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. that were like close really friends, friends that we would yeah. all hang out with as yeah. a group. Or like, some were like new dude, past like, let's be real. people we were together with or whatever, you know. Yeah, right, like right. exes or whatever. And like, how how do you figure that you guys are going to work, Chicky? You're older than him and he's younger than you and he's never going to be mature. I know, that's and, so crazy. Like, it's not even two years or anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a year yeah, and some let's change. See, October and then February, <laughs> so it's a year in October, November, December, January, February. A year and four months. Yeah, they that I'm older so than him. It's not. Drastic. And outside of high school, that doesn't even matter. No, no, like no, 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 grade wise, no, no. it was two years. So everyone was like, "Oh my yeah, gosh, you guys are." Me. Yeah, yeah, everyone's like, "You're yeah. never gonna make it." How much? How, you're older than him. Yeah, yeah. she's older than me. How much older? Was it two? A year and a half? Or two? Two years? Well, I'm. 20. No, a year, a year, and a month, a year and a month. Yeah, see, like, yeah, same shit. but he, same but shit. he's two years grade wise. Yeah. 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 Yeah, same thing. And everyone was like, there's no way. Don't mention that. Yeah. <laughs> but I graduated, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I graduated at 17. So, Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. And I should have been like the year later. Mm-hmm. So I, it would have only been a When's year difference. Birthday? October. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was like okay. I started after the school year. And so I had to wait or start early. Mm-hmm. So I started early. Yeah. And... Otherwise, I would have started when I was, like, five or something like that. Something dumb. So, I think this is a pretty good podcast so far. I think it was, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, we're anyway, freelancing we for a while. Yeah. But, um, so I think we, we should start wrapping one, it up, Yeah, dude. yeah. One, I think we should well, start what, wrapping what you, it up. Okay, so one of the like, questions that you really, really want to get out, ask me anything you want to know. Well, I think, it was, I think we got out you pretty got everything? much everything. Okay. But I just want to wrap it up. I wanted to ask you, um, so let's say we got some new kid or anybody and they want to work for themselves, what advice would you give them? Not just the social media influencer, yeah. but just to work for themselves work or to me. be an entrepreneur. Okay, I would say have a clear fi- have a clear vision. Know what you're going for. Ask questions. Don't be scared to go out and talk to people because you're going to have to talk to network and talk to yeah. people in person. Mm-hmm. That You can't do the online thing all your life. Uh, and uh, believe in yourself, really. Just believe in yourself. I can only say, and for me, I believe in God, so that's what gives me my f- my fuel. But I don't know what people believe in. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So believe in you. If you don't believe in God, believe in you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Pretty like much. That. You know what I mean. So moving forward, man, uh, I would just really tell somebody just to st- and stay grounded, stay focused. You know, and and just believe in your vision. You know, don't 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 think about just what believe the, in yourself. Yeah, yeah. don't think because a lot of see what the problem is. Everybody thinks about what everybody else is thinking about. Stop thinking about what they're thinking about because they're thinking about what you're thinking about. So everybody's thinking about what everybody's thinking about, and it just doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just focus on what yeah, you want to do. Just think about yeah. what you think about, and it's going to turn into it. I can say that because I've done it, I'm doing it. You see what I'm saying? So I would just say focus on your vision, have a clear vision on what you want to accomplish, and don't ever be money hungry. 
Because once it's about money, it will become sloppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Very sloppy. I feel the same. You're in yeah. it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> or it'll you're be, not in it for the yeah. right reasons. Yeah, it'll be, it will become very sloppy. So the reason why mine grown, because it came from the heart. I've been in the fashion since I was 16. I've been working out pretty much all my life. Played ball since I was four. And traveling has always been a part of my life. I talk about that in the project that I'm about to release, you know. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. About traveling and everything. I've always been. So this my niche is, goes back to when I was a kid. So always look back mm-hmm. on what you were passionate about when you were a kid. Yeah, what you liked. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. Really sit and think about what dream. For me, it was traveling. That was a really big thing. Like I love traveling. I do. I'm doing it now. I love it. And fashion has always been my one of my things. I mean, I want best dress. You probably got that yearbook. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> no, actually, some story. Okay. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Break it out. Oh, Break it out. Man. No, but, man, I honestly, I La Quinta High School is cool, man. We're switching subjects. La Quinta High School is a good high school to go to, my brother. That yeah, was, that was cool. You didn't like it too much? No, I liked it. He it doesn't cool. like the valley. I just don't like the valley. He doesn't like, like the, the valley. He doesn't like the people here. He doesn't like the I grew energy. up in Blythe, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay. I grew up in Blythe, okay. and it was Where a small town. It's a small town. town, so everybody knows everybody, kind of okay. like you. You know, it's mm-hmm. very... Family people kind of care about people, you and know. And here, ah, whereas yeah, it's more it's city, a little more transit. Um, yeah. I just feel like everybody here is more selfish, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of like, like you're my homie. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're helping me, but right, if you don't right, help right, me, right, then I don't really like you anymore. You know, like that. That's not real friendship. Yeah, exactly. We can't be friends. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know, but that's just me growing up in a small town. So okay. I like La Quinta though. Like I, I, I liked it. It was I, a good school. I did yeah. good. I ended up getting all league in football. I played baseball. I, okay, it wasn't bad. Good experience. You know? Yeah, it was a good experience. Yeah, I me too. Me too. For the valley, I think it was fine. Yeah, obviously it's better than like I think Cat City or Indio yeah. or Coachella, <laughs> Coachella or whatever. You know, I'll hate on your guys' cities. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow Hills would have been cool just because they were like new, and yeah, then you yeah, could have yeah. been like a superstar, you know? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but we went to the powerhouse. Yeah, man, exactly. So it was yeah. cool, and like I said, you you guys were always cool, you know, growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so you always just have that smile. That's what I remember. <laughs> like smile. that's all I remember. I don't know what yeah. that means. But <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's making it mean something I know. I was like, wait. I thought it was a good thing. Now it's a bad thing. (laughs) She has that, you know, like you said, like she's always so nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. She was always cool. But behind closed doors. (laughs) She's still that teen. I mean, I can be a real bitch. Don't get on my bad side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. I'm a very nice, sweet person. Well, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different when you're in a relationship. Like, she's the homie. We've never even, like, I've never even came at your girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Never flirted. Yeah, well, I remember. I remember back in the day, you guys would kick it, but it was because yeah. you were somebody else's girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. She, we so, talk about that. And I'm glad it never was I like that, because I don't know how this podcast would go if it ever yeah. went that way. No, you know what I mean? Weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, no, it was cool, man. It was cool. Well, yeah, I'm glad that you guys are doing good and yeah. that you're... You're doing good. I'm proud of you. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. both of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Definitely a lot yeah, of work. Yeah, hey, give your guys, give your guys a self like a little shout out, social media shout out. Tell oh, us so people where to find you? You can find you can find me Snapchat C H Y L like chill dot Robinson and same as Instagram same way C H Y L dot Robinson same way you can find me there. What about uh, your blog? Your my blog? blog is www dot Kyle D Robinson or chill wherever you guys know me by. It's cool. Same thing, C H Y L D Robinson dot com. Yeah, she gets mad. I, I'm like, Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. His name's Kyle. Okay, I'll call you Kyle from here. On. Sorry, guys. My wife doesn't like it because it's my inner ego. I don't care. Give yourself a social media oh, shout out. My What's your name? Instagram is Angie F Baby 619. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep, All right, yep. cool. So that's where you can find yeah. us in there. Hey, let me hook you guys yeah. up real quick. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, one of those, but. How do you edit this? Hey, make sure you got me sounding good, man. Yeah, I was dude, nervous. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was. Yeah. This is my first time. This is my first time, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I drank oh, too much. Know. I already hit that. Yeah. Okay. And then I decided to give you guys one of my art pieces that oh, I got from. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate model. you guys coming yeah, out. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. 
Yeah. And what, what size are you in like a uh, uh, Razorback? Medium. Yeah, you got to take a picture of this. We got to take a selfie right now, too. Yeah. Yes. Let me find that. Let me find that medium. I'm a little picture. hot. Yeah, I hope too. it wasn't too hot in here for not you guys. Crazy. No, like, no, 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 no. Like, horrible. It was cool. It was cool. Thank God it's not June or anything. Dang, bro. Thanks for getting this out because I was nervous. I was nervous. You probably I'm thought positive. I was, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was so I've never, nervous. Yeah, too. I've never All done right. a podcast. I was like, man, like... You know? yeah, I appreciate you, bro. So that's the end, dude. This is the end of the eighth episode. I'm going to post all the first eight up uh, pretty soon in a couple days. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, baby. Thanks, Dave. And I love my wife, too, sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. dude. You're digging a hole, dude. You've dug a hole since the beginning. Oh, shit. But it's all good. It's the 100 Podcast, man. Thanks for listening to me and signing off. I appreciate it.